Hello everyone, Phil is here again with the arrival of Abby, my latest H480 from Unique. And my new ST16 Pro with my three external antennas. I thought I'd go over the quick install of the Intellite range extending antenna. I picked this up from Carolina Drones. In fact, I've got everything I've ever needed from my drones from Carolina Drones. Kind of rhymes. Their customer service has been absolutely incredible. Frank down there is willing to help and do repairs on just about everything you can think of. So, what do we get? The antenna, three, the 5.8, and then the two, 2.4 gig. In the box, put that up there. We have cables, mount, wing nuts for the mount. These are the three cables and included in the package is the antenna mod wire. If you have an ST16 standard and you want to convert yours to the pro version you can do that using this. Hey, Richard Gilmore does an excellent video on converting the ST16 standard to the ST16 Pro with opening the case, drilling the hole for the antenna for the third one. The only thing is everybody's got to remember that if your warranty is still in effect, it will void it. So best to wait till after your warranty expires and then go to it. Uh, I do not get this to fly long distances. Here in Minnesota or in the United States we kind of stay within line of sight and I got it just for the peace of mind of better control and hopefully it won't be dropping any signals. Uh, better camera output everything. So what we're going to do, I'm going to open these up. The first thing we're going to do is remove the existing antennas and never remember please never turn your ST16 on without having your antennas installed it does really bad things to the transmitters they don't like it so while we're doing this it will remain in the off position so I've not installed this antenna type before so the biggest challenge is getting the ziplock bag open so I'm not sure if we're going to install the antenna or hook up the cables first I think I am going to hook up the antennas first and see if this works the so one on the first 2.4 On. There we go. I'm going to leave those a little loose so they'll turn. There we go. I can tell I'm right handed. I shouldn't be on my left hand. Okay, this is not getting on there. Why am I having... There we go. Alright. The next thing to do 
to attach them onto these small studs right here with the included wing nuts. So, I think I am going to mount my range extender hanging down from the bottom of the unit rather than up and above. I don't know if it matters one way or the other. I highly doubt it. Alright, if you can see this, we got the, the antenna on. Don't go over tight on these, the thing's made out of plastic. No need to go cranking like a gorilla. So now, I'm hoping this will stay where you can see it. One of the things that the ST16 has is a mount hole right here with a screw going through it. And if you can tell, the 5.8 gigahertz antenna is off to this side just a little bit to clear that mount hole. So that's going to make a difference on where we attach our antenna. Which the antenna mount, I can do this, has two little rubber grips, uh, grommets on the top bracket for the double, and the bottom one just hooks into the side. So I'll see if I can do this so you can, hopefully you can see this. Leave this up. Loosen that a little more. And just latch this over. And I'm going to slide this over to right there. And you can tell I had lunch here a second ago. Okay, so my mount is just off center from the hole to the, the side here and it's loose enough right now that I don't have to, I can move it a little bit, I'll snug it down a little bit later. And the next thing is to attach these antenna cables to the respective connections on the antenna. So, one of the things I'm going to do, these cables are a little stiff. I'm going to see if I can hold this and get this first one on started here. I have looped this antenna around this way here and I'm going to continue the same direction with the other two leads. But remember I've also left these loose to aid in twisting them around but they are pretty stiff uh, with the shield and everything in there. So when you turn them to get these to connect up it's a little tight. I'm just going to set this down. And we want to be careful that we don't cross thread anything. And here goes the last one. Okay. Now I can finger tight, snug everything up. No need to put these on with a wrench or a pair of pliers. Finger tight is good enough. All right. So there we go. 
I have mine on mine so it faces down. Some people like them so they're facing up. Personal preference. The main thing to remember is no matter which way your aircraft is, you always want to face this towards the aircraft. You never want to have the aircraft behind because this antenna is directional. Again, if you want further instructions and clarification on all the electronics and how everything works, Richard Gilmore does an excellent job of explaining everything. I just wanted to get a quick video out there for everybody to see. It's real easy to install. Uh, they're just over a hundred bucks at Carolina Drones. And shipping uh, from Carolina Drones from me uh, to Minnesota up here is three days every time. I can't even count how many packages I've ordered through them. And every time it's been three days. So excellent service down there. I want to thank Frank a lot for everything that he does. I've literally obtained everything that I have for all of my drones through them. So, all right guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching. Hope this has helped somebody out out there. Fearless signing off. Have a great day.